Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I will talk about uh, how to install MySQL Server on uh, Ubuntu operating system. Yeah, I'm basically installing uh, on Ubuntu 22 LTS. Uh, this is also valid for uh, Ubuntu 20. If you want to check the operating system version, then you go to the terminal and uh, not this one, the terminal. Yeah, <laughs> type lsb iPhone release underscore release iPhone A. Yeah, you can see Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So before installing uh, MySQL Server, we have to update the package index. The sudo opt update basically updates the package index to give the password. Yeah, it is updating the package index. Once that is done, then uh, we can install MySQL Server using sudo opt install MySQL Server. Yeah, proceed with by typing s. Yes. Yeah, it is downloading uh, from the repository and installing MySQL Server. Yeah, once the installation is completed, then we have to log in with the root user. The root user is a default user created after uh, the MySQL server installation. Once the installation is done, we can um, we have to we have to log in with the root user. Before that, we can talk about uh, the authentication mechanisms. By default, a root user cannot log in um, using username and password because by default it uses authentication socket authentication mechanism. So in this mechanism, uh, it uses uh, unique sockets for communications. So we cannot log in outside from this machine. Uh, in order to change the authentication mechanism to use username and password, we need to alter the authentication mechanism. Before that, we can we will talk about uh, what kinds of authentication mechanisms are available in MySQL. The first, um, in addition to that uh, AUTH socket authentication mechanism, we have other two mechanisms are there. One is caching SHA-2 pluggable authentication mechanism. In this, it uses a plugin name called caching SHA-2 password plugin. And there is one more native pluggable authentication. In this, uh, the plugin name is MySQL native password. To change the authentication mechanism in Ubuntu, uh, we need to use a quiz. So go here and log into MySQL. Suppose if you um, use this select statement, you can see the select user, comma plugin, comma host from MySQL user. It shows all the users and uh, what kind of authentication me mechanisms they are using. Currently, root user is using uh, authentication socket mechanism. So we cannot use username and password using the root user. So if you want to change this, then you have to alter the user root at localhost, identified with caching SHA-2 password by, this is a password for that uh, root user. So use this one and uh, at localhost means basically we can uh, connect from only the localhost. If you use the percentage sign, then we can uh, log in from anywhere uh, from any mission currently we are using only localhost so if you run this then we have changed the authentication mechanism before that we need to flush the privileges once that is done then we can see again the table and what mechanisms uh, authentication mechanisms are being used see if you see earlier it was uh, authentication socket now we have changed it to caching SHA-2 password so that we can use username and password. So before that, we'll exit MySQL now. You can use uh, sudo MySQL U, that is a root user, and we will type the password. The password is test.123. That's what we have given here. Now we are able to log in MySQL server 
and you can see you can show the databases yeah we have all the databases so this is how we can install uh, SQL Server and change the authentication mechanism suppose if you want to change the authentication mechanism to MySQL native password then uh, we can use um, we can uh, replace this MySQL native password here instead of caching SHA2 password we can use that so that we can use that authentication mechanism the, this one is a recommended one and it is more secure yeah this is all about installation and uh, if you want to uninstall the server mysql server uh, then we can do that one i'll show you how to install uh, sql server uh, in ubuntu uh, and, I, and i will also show how to install mysql workbench and connect to the server before that we will install mysql workbench if you want to install we can use a software center and you can search here mysql workbench so you can install you have to use the password so it will take some time to install yeah it is almost done yeah now if you open so let's go to here and uh, workbench I will connect using the root user. Yeah, uh, by default it shows this one. See, you are getting an error. It's basically, this message uh, is telling App Armor policy is preventing to send the message. So, to solve this issue, we need to go to the permissions and uh, we have to give the read add change or remove saved passwords permission once we give this we can go and uh, check again yeah now it is okay now you can use test at 123 and now we are able to connect now we can use show databases yeah i can see all the databases here yeah this is how we install the mysql workbench and connect to the server uh, using the username and password and you can see the database and then you can create the databases like create database db1 yeah this is created and now you can see the db1 is also there you can create tables and other stuff yeah, after that, I will show you how to, inst how to uninstall the MySQL server. Before that, we need to, st uh, before uninstalling, we need to stop the MySQL server service. In order to do that, we can go to the, we can exit here, and we can see the status of the MySQL server using the status. is Currently, it is running, it started. Suppose if you want to stop that, you can change this to stop. Yeah, now it is stopping the server. If you see the MySQL server is stopped already. So now we can uh, remove our MySQL packages. Basically, you can use uh, this command. We can opt get sudo opt get purge all the MySQL related uh, packages. Or you can give in one shot we can remove all the MySQL related packages. Here we can use either, um, basically if you give the remove, it will remove only the pa uh, the installed libraries, installed software, but not the configuration files. If you want to remove the configuration files also, you can you have to use purge the direct command or as a sub command to the remove. So we'll use this one, this short one. So it will go and purge all the installed uh, software as well as um, the configuration files yeah press s yeah now it is removed and also we can uh, use auto remove key auto remove command basically this uh, auto remove will remove all the dependencies libraries that are required for mysql now we have removed the mysql server so we don't need any dependency library dependent 
libraries. So we can go and uh, remove this and press S and that is done. And if you want to clean up the cache, the cache contains basically all the downloaded software which are not required further than you can go on this is optional command uh, so we can clean this one using this command yeah this is uh, removed yeah this is how we can install and uh, connect using workbench and uh, also we can remove the mysql server from ubuntu, ubuntu operating system yeah thanks for watching